hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn how to make this beautiful triangular uh, open shell stitch shawl so uh, this has been a request in my dm because uh, it works up pretty fast as well as the increases spread out very wide as opposed to um, the increases that we did for our previous tops if you haven't yet checked out the tops using this stitch make sure you check them out um, they are all on my youtube channel you can check out the tutorials so the increase of this pattern is pretty different from uh, the increases that we made for the tank tops as well as the halter tops in a way that this this spreads out even further and faster so this could be a very good pattern for a shawl or a scarf this could also be a very good design to gift your loved ones especially during the festive season and i know this is very early but this is the perfect time to start creating these projects uh, before you get caught up um, when the festive season comes and you haven't yet made anything for your loved ones so this is the yarn that i'm going to be using it's called ice yarn and uh, i had to make sure i get a brighter color to start with so that by the time we get the hang of the pattern uh, even if we go to the browns we already know exactly what to do uh, so let's get started this is what it looks like uh, the color is just so beautiful so let's get started You're going to grab your yarn and we are going to make a slip knot so for a slip knot you just roll over your work like this like as if a ribbon and we are going to yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and then you're going to pull on the chain on the tail so that will create our slip knot so we're going to make a chain of six After a chain of six you're going to go into the very first chain and you're going to place a double crochet so a double crochet is yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you'll have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so that's our very first vestige of our pattern so let's go on to row two for row two you're going to make a chain of three which counts as our very first double crochet turn your work and into this v stitch we're going to make a total of eight more double crochets so one two three four five six seven and eight so that will bring us to a total of nine double crochets since the chain three at the beginning of the row counts as one of the double crochets so let's go on to row three you're going to make a chain of five and that counts as a double crochet chain two turn your work into the very first stitch which is this one you're going to place one double crochet like that and then you're going to make a chain of two skip three stitches one two three and into the next stitch we're going to place one v stitch so a v stitch is one double crochet chain two and one more double crochet after this you're going to make a chain of two skip the next three stitches and this should bring us to the top of the chain three so onto the top chain of the chain three at the edge of the second row you're going to place one more v stitch so one double crochet chain two and one more double crochet into the same exact chain the topmost chain of the chain three on the edge of row two so this marks the end of row three of the shawl or the scarf so uh we're going on to row four you're going to make a chain of three which counts as our very first double crochet you're going to go into the first v stitch which is this one into this space you're going to place seven more double crochets to make a total of eight since the chain three counts as one of the stitches so we want a total of eight double crochets 
So just to cross check, we have the chain three, which counts as our very first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So once you have your eight double crochets, you're going to go into the chain two space and you're going to place one single crochet and go into the next V stitch and you're going to place a total of seven double crochets into it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So once you have your seven double crochets into the next V stitch, you're going to go into the next chain to space and place a single crochet that will create our second shell. And then into the very last V stitch, you're going to place a total of eight double crochets. So the reason why we are placing eight double crochets is to balance exactly what we have at the beginning of the row. The very first shell has eight double crochets and the very last shell should have eight double crochets. Now the middle shells always get only seven double crochets. Now let's go on to row five and we see what to do. So row five is almost going to resemble row three. So you're going to make a chain of five, which counts as a double crochet chain two. After your chain of five, you're going to turn your work and into the very first uh, double crochet, you're going to place a double crochet. So that will create our very first V stitch, as you can see here. Now we're going to chain two, skip over three stitches and into the next, you're going to place one V stitch, which is one double crochet, chain two and one more double crochet. Now from here, you're going to make a chain of two, go into the middle stitch of the next shell, which should be the fourth stitch since this shell has uh, seven double crochets. So you're going to go into the middle stitch with one V stitch. So V stitch is one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet like that. And then you're going to make a chain of two, cross over to the next shell and you're going to go into the fourth stitch of the last shell with one V stitch. that and then you're going to make a chain of two skip over the next three stitches and this should bring us to the top of the edge chain three so onto the top chain you're going to place one v stitch so i hope you can relate this row with row three because they look exactly the same the only difference is um, the number of shells and the v stitches is going to keep increasing and increasing since uh, we are creating a shawl and that means this length here this length is going to keep widening and increasing and increasing because we are increasing the edges so it's going to come like this so let's go on to row six just to clarify what we should be having uh sorry i had chained one here instead of two so it's one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. Let's go on to row six. Row six is basically going to be the same as row, row four. The only difference is the number of shells is going to increase from uh, three to five. So I'm saying three to five before, because uh, this row here, row five has a total of one, two, three, four, five five V stitches and each V stitch is going to receive a shell just like we have here. Row three has a total of one, two and three V stitches and uh, we placed a shell into each and every V stitch. That's why we have a total of three, v three shells for row four. 
so row six you're going to just start just like row four you start with a chain of three turn your work into the first v stitch you're going to make a total of seven double crochets one two three four five six seven so once you have your seven double crochets you're going to go into the next chain to space with a single crochet and i hope you can see how the colors are changing the colors have started changing so after this you're going to go into the next v stitch with seven double crochets After your seven double crochets, you're going to go into the next chain to space with one single crochet. And then you're going to repeat that seven double crochets into the next. One single crochet into the next chain to space. So we are creating the shells and so far we have three seven double crochets into the next v stitch one single crochet into the next chain to space and then when it comes to the very last uh, v stitch you're going to place a total of eight double crochets just because we have eight double crochets for the beginning and we want to balance what's here onto this side so a total of eight double crochets into the very last v stitch so from here um you can see it's a repeat of rows uh rows three and four we're going to keep repeating those two rows until we get the width and the length of the shawl that we want. So I'm going to reintroduce my next, uh, my previous project, just like you saw at the beginning of the, the video. Um, this is what we have. As I told you earlier on, we shall be making a total of five shells for the um, for the sixth row we shall have a total of five shells so that means the number of v stitches and the number of shells will keep increasing and this is the effect that's going to be created and for this shell the row that has the shells it's is the right side of the shell like that so i'm going to keep working and keep working my shawl until i have the length or at least until i finish up my very first ball of yarn and we shall see how many rows that will come out of that and i'll be back to show you the progress and yeah just keep repeating the two rows and uh you'll have your shawl ready make sure at the end of the shawl you end your shawl with a row of shells because it's much prettier than the row of v stitches that's just a tip and i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you in my next one bye